honestly, let's get to it. Here's my real gift, my true gift. Who talks like that? My true gift. I'm a motivational speaker. No, I help people. I, I help, uh, right? All right, focus, focus. Here's the deal. It doesn't matter how old or ugly a man is. As long as he is wealthy or famous, he will get a hot chick to the day he dies. Women, we have a shelf life of about 35, 40 with good refrigeration. I did not make this up. I learned this decades, decades ago from Anna Nicole Smith, my spiritual advisor. Anna was married to an octogenarian in a wheelchair. That's a man in his 80s. He hadn't walked since Watergate. That was a political crisis in our country in the 1970s. So, so cute. Oh, so cute. Well, they're young and in love, and they're, you know, I gotta help them. Anna was voluptuous, gorgeous. He couldn't move on his own. Anybody seen the inequity? Anybody? 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 Okay. Over for me. I feel like Canada. I have so much to offer, but nobody gives a crap. I don't think it's over for me, but people treat me like that. Okay, I'll give you an example. What did I get for my birthday? Somebody gave me a bread maker. A bread maker. So that I could make my own loaves of bread. Because that's what I wanna do. I wanna make my own loaves of bread. That's why my mother came to America. So I could make my own loaves of bread. Spending three bucks at the shop right was killing me. But thanks to your gift, I can now spend five hours kneading and rolling dough. Maybe next year, maybe, you could give me a pig and a chicken and we can make bacon and eggs. Wouldn't that be fun? Good times. Let's do that. Fun. Do you know whose fault it is that women like me are getting bread makers? Martha Stewart. She won't go away. So she won't. We put her in jail, but she comes out. And the problem with putting her in jail is she gets street cred when she comes out. Yo, yo, M dog. And in America, when you do the wrong thing, you get rewarded. That's the way it works. So she comes out, she gets a, a rewarded with another cooking show with that rapper who likes the weed. Snoop Dogg. Snoop Dogg. Snoop Dogg. He brings the pot, she brings the pan. That's what happens. That's how they make it work. And, um, but that's not my point. My point is, we put her in jail and she had too much time in her hands to come up with more crafts and crap for women like me to do. Because of Martha, there has been a resurgence among women who are knitting and quilting. My neighbor said to me last week, Maureen, do you know why I gave up crocheting? I said, yes, because we had an industrial revolution in our country. Ding, 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 ding. That's mass production in factories. Martha, there's something wrong with Martha. Do you ever listen to her talk? It ain't right. We're going to make Peking duck. Go get your smoker. I have to get my smoker. Dad, get off the couch. I need you in the kitchen. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Come on, pull them all unfiltered. You're the best smoker I have. Come on, come on. She'll explain everything. Let's marinade the meat. Place the meat in a marinade. Marinade, marinade, marinade. Who talks like that? Who the heck talks like that? Martha grew up in New Jersey. I grew up in New Jersey. Nobody marinades in New Jersey. We don't drink lemonade. We don't march in parades. We don't play charades because it's odd. It's a facade. And trust me, people who talk like that, they don't get laud. 